Joining us live is Mohamed Abdullahi, public affairs analyst. Good evening, Mr. Mohamed. Uh, good evening, Nigerians. It's my pleasure. Thank you for joining us on News Now tonight. Now, the minister's suspension is coming in the wake of scandals rocking not just the ministry, but her predecessor. So what does this say of a ministry that is supposed to be in charge of helping vulnerable Nigerians being enmeshed in these infractions? Very many Nigerians remember more than 19 million living below poverty line. Uh, even though it's, like you mentioned, a very minute fraction of that number will be uh, have been impacted for a very long while. But... Um, Money is meant to at least cushion the effects of uh, whether subsidy re re renewal and then all other things that are affecting ordinary Nigerians. Being misappropriated, you know. Um, so it's not a good one. Remember the fact that this ministry, I mean, this uh, it used to be a department under the uh, presidency. Uh, uh, but then I think four years ago, a full-fledged ministry uh, headed by, I mean, the former minister, Sadia Farouk. And then, uh, perhaps we we'll say women are more, you know, uh, uh, you know, in terms of empathy uh, and so on and so forth. Perhaps that's why women have been heading this ministry. But uh, I think it, it's, it's not really augering well uh, from the, I mean, the, the allegations uh, with, um, I mean, of uh, 37 point something billion uh being misappropriated perhaps in the last uh, dispensation i mean the last administration and now less than three or four months that we have new minister we also have another allegation of uh, monies being misappropriated okay. uh, monies being what? paid into private account yeah all right so also the civil society legislative advocacy center since that had asked the federal government and anti-graft agencies to fish out the alleged accomplices of Edu and her predecessor. It claimed that with the fraud allegedly perpetrated by both the previous minister, Sadia, and the current one, that they definitely worked with some people. What are your thoughts? Do you think in this line? Yeah, definitely. I mean, definitely. I mean, um, the ministers couldn't have. You understand that uh, these monies, I mean, whether it's invoices or uh, whatsoever, must have been raised by civil servants. So, I mean, I'm, I'm part of the uh, people that is clamoring for the fact that not only the minister should bear the brunt, people in that same ministry must have raised such, you know, uh, drafted such document for the minister to sign. So whether it is the permanent secretary, whether it is uh, it's a director or something, I think there's, there should be other people that are also bearing the brunt, I mean, bearing the sack like uh, I mean, or whether suspension like the minister. So it's not just the minister just to append her own signature, uh, even though she leads the, the the ministry. But there are other people I'm sure who should understand career civil servant who should also begin to feel uh, this brunt where there is a wanton misappropriation, and then perhaps they are even the ones leading the ministry astray. We never can tell. So I think the investigation should go beyond just the minister uh, and uh, immediate aid. The, this investigation should be thorough. It should it should include whether the permanent secretary and other directors that have, have hand, I mean, in uh, such mess. Okay. Now, shouldn't the president carry out a sweeping reforms within ministries, departments, and agencies? Because with these developments, diversions of funds may not be restricted to the humanitarian ministry alone. Do you agree? Definitely, I agree. But uh, when you talk about reforms, the, 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 I think it's really uncalled for at the moment because they are just, I mean, the minister just, um, I mean, got into office less than four months ago. So what other reform are we talking about? What I think is commendable is the fact that the, the president is acting. People are talking about cabal, I mean, in this new government, which is uh, not far from the truth. But the, I think the, the difference between now and what we used to have during Buhari's era is the fact that the president is active. The president is aware of what is going on. And even though you might play a major role in his campaign, which brings him to office, he is saying by his action that if you... Now, people being dealt with accordingly, I mean, according to the law. So I think that's the reform that we talk about. People, I mean, the minister should be high 
accountable, you understand, whosoever it is, no matter how powerful the minister is or whosoever, in as much as you are serving the public in Nigeria, you should be accountable and then uh, the rule, I mean, the, the rule of law should prevail. But do you think this is peculiar to women alone? Because I, I mean, a lot of people are saying that it is women that are actually being dealt with when they are in government than their male counterparts. Do you think in this line as well? No, no, I don't think, I don't think it's true. Uh, I don't think it's true. Uh, the past government it didn't really do well, even though it came into power with the mantra of, uh, you know, dealing with corruption as change. It didn't really do well in terms of that uh, area. But I think I would want to give uh, uh, President Tunubu the, the benefit of the doubt. You understand? I, perhaps you don't want to mention, but there is a brewing case, I mean, this evening, uh, I mean, since this afternoon, since the, I mean, suspension of uh, the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs. There is also a brewing case of uh, the Minister of Interior, who, whom everyone has been seen as the shining minister of this administration so far. There is a brewing case that uh, his company, even though he said he has resigned, but he's still a director, according to a document by, uh, released by an uh, online publication, that his company received about 400 something million as a consultancy fee from the humanitarian ministry. You understand? And it's, uh, I'm trying to connect the dots. Because, you know, when uh, the, the, the woman at NSIPA was relieved of her position, the document from uh, Betu, uh, Betty uh, Edu resurfaced online. So now that, uh, you know, Madam Humanitarian Minister has been relieved, the document for, I mean, the alleged uh, conflict of interest, I think that's the phrase, conflict of interest of the interior minister is also surfacing online. So I think uh, there is a dot, uh, there is a connection of the dot in those three things. So, yeah, let's see what the presidency will also do uh, uh, with the, uh, I mean, the male minister of interior, if you want me to use that uh, phrase. So let's see if there will be investigation, if, um, if uh, despite the fact that he's been, he's been the shining star of, uh, I mean, in terms of ministerial jobs, uh, if the government will also, I mean, suspend him if he's found wanted. So let's, let's wait and see. Now, the very last question before we let you go. Do you think anything will come out of this probe? What should Nigerians be expecting? Yes, I think it's commendable that at least the first step has been taken. Um, the, the people that have aired, I mean, whether it's the NCPA coordinator, the minister has been suspended. And if you look at the statement from the presidency, uh, uh, the EFCC have been uh you know directed to take charge i think that's that's a good one that's a very commendable one seriously because it's not just suspending people who have been found wanting i think what is also important in our country uh, uh, nation is that you know people are held accountable and this means whether it's the police or the efcc has been directed to take you know carry out thorough investigation not just the minister not just people, these people there are so many people involved so you know People should be investigated, and if they are found wanting, they are brought uh, to justice. I think it's as simple as that. So I, I want to, like, say, uh, give the, I mean, this new administration the benefit of the doubt that things will be different. Uh, we are seeing uh, that at least currently. So even if it's a pretext, I keep saying this, less it's, it's commendable. Uh, and then hopefully we'll see this to the latter. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. And here's now. We'll have to let you go now. Thank you so much. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.